Hello, Raising Wellness family. Welcome to our full moon meditation. I'm so excited to have you here. And I hope that a lot of you are joining us after watching the new moon video earlier in this month because this is the time when all of those intentions, all of those big dreams and wishes and goals that you set at the new moon can come to this space and be harvested. And this is also a time to purge what is no longer serving you, to let go of those old mentalities, those old habits that are no longer serving you. And because this full moon is in Virgo, Virgo, very good at the small detail, detail-oriented perfectionism sometimes with the Virgo. So that energy might be coming forward for you a little bit more. And it's really great to help you fine tune, get those small details in order for those big dreams and big goals that you made during the new moon in Aquarius this month. So be on the lookout for your ability to find those small details and really work that goal and it's going to help bring you down into reality because Aquarius is so up here. Virgo is very grounded, earth sign in reality. So it's going to help you bring those dreams and goals down. It's going to help you smite, really fine tune that goal so you can bring it into this actual earthly plane. But with Virgo also, there's a potential for you to get hung up on those small details that want to be really perfect and have everything in order and everything perfectly lined up and that's not just that's not how life works so make sure that you don't get yourself hung up on those small details you're going to have this um, really big urge to feel free to do um, maybe unexpected things so it's a really good time to follow that so when you find yourself getting hung up on those small details Remember your real, your bigger vision that you set, that big intention that you set to help move you through those times when that perfectionism bug is kind of right there in the forefront. And this big urge that you're going to feel for um, breaking free, having more freedom, more personal freedom is because Mars and Uranus are conjunct. So the sun and the moon are also in harmony, right? Because we have this full moon, the sun shining on the moon. And because that's in harmony, it's a great time to act on those urges, to break free, to um, let your hair down and, and have a good time. And also to take risks. Doing this a lot of times when the sun and moon are, are in harmony helps bring more excitement into your life and also new opportunities that maybe you didn't know were out there that may help you with your goals and intentions or may help you with other things that you've been trying to work on cultivating in your life. So this full moon meditation is going to help you with feeling that sense and ability to have harmony when you break free, to really connect back to your big vision, not get hung up on those small goals, and just really have that sense of personal freedom so that you can step into those goals, step into that person you want to be when you achieve that goal or whatever it is that you set your intentions for on the new moon. So I hope you guys really enjoy it. Again, if you liked this video, um, or if you've been liking the new moon videos, make sure to give us a like, hit that subscribe button, maybe hit the bell so you get alerted every time new or full moon video comes out. And I have some extra special tidbits, like always, at the end of the meditation for you. And also a big surprise that I wait for you to give to you guys. So make sure you stay tuned after the meditation. And without further ado, let's begin the meditation. Welcome to our full moon meditation for February 2019. If you haven't already, please find a comfortable seated position. If you're newer to meditation, I recommend finding a spot where your back can be supported as well. Maybe sitting on the ground with your back leaned up against a wall, or a couch, or a bed. 
And just finding that comfortable seated position. And when you do, lift your head up towards the sky, tuck your chin down. Gently close your eyes. And just take a deep breath in through the nose. And out through the nose. yourself to arrive here. Arrive here in this space for yourself, with your mind, your body, and your spirit. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Open your mouth and let it go, allowing yourself to arrive here in this space. Take another deep breath in through the nose. Open your mouth and let it go. And now, before we dive deeper into this meditation practice, let us connect again with our breath. The most important tool for centering calming. So bring your awareness to the tip of your nose. And just begin to observe the sensations that come up with your inhales and your exhales. Observing what it feels like, drawing in that oxygen, observe what it feels like around the rings of your nostrils, through your nostrils, down your throat and into your lungs. And observe the outflow of breath with your exhale, observing every single sensation that appears. Focusing the mind on observing the sensation of your breath. Drop that awareness down to your seat, the places where your body connects with the floor, and just begin to observe any sensations that come with noticing your 
sensations of groundedness, of connection, of safety and security. Just observe the sensations of being here in your body, grounded on the floor. And with this awareness of your breath, and the sensation of feeling grounded, safe, and connected, I'll ask you the one and only question for this full moon meditation. Whenever any thoughts or feelings arise after asking this question, see if you can stay in this sensation you have right now of being connected to the breath and grounded on the floor. question. What am I ready to let go of? And just observe. Staying connected to your breath and grounded in the floor. Observe whatever thoughts or feelings or images arise. Is it a tension in the body? Maybe the image of a relationship? A certain mindset or habit? Or maybe a goal or expectation? Or simply just a feeling? Staying connected to the breath and grounded in the floor. Observe whatever arises. What am I ready to let go of?
and take a deep breath in through your nose, filling up chest, filling up belly, and open your mouth, let it go. Do that again, deep breath in through the nose, filling up chest and belly, and open your mouth, let it go, knowing that whatever surfaced during this time is now ready to be let go. It is okay to let go of whatever surfaced. To align you more directly with your purpose and goals and intentions. And take another deep breath in through the nose. Open your mouth, let it go. And drop this awareness that you've so delicately cultivated into your heart center. your mindful observance to your heart space. And connect with that sensation of your breath again. Connect with your breath as it manifests in the heart space. Every inhale rising your chest and every exhale lowering your chest. Just take a few moments here to connect the breath to that heart center. Inhaling and rising the chest and exhale to lower it again. any lingering thoughts of what you need to let go of trickle into your mind here and now. Allow yourself to let them go. Without judgment, come back and connect with the sensation of your breath in your heart space. now for the next few minutes begin cultivating this feeling of openness of receiving of personal freedom every time you inhale and rise that chest cultivate the feeling the sense of receiving, receiving exactly what you need, receiving love, and 
And every time you exhale, imagine that feeling growing bigger, wider, deeper. Drawing in your breath, drawing in all those gifts you are ready to receive, drawing them into your heart space, and as you exhale, that feeling grows more intensely. Inhaling to receive, to receive that love and guidance and freedom. And exhaling, allowing that feeling to grow more deeply within you and spread more widely around you. and exhaling to grow bigger more deeply Take a deep breath in through your nose. Open your mouth and let it go. And again, deep breath in through the nose. Open your mouth and let it all go, knowing that you are loved guided and open to receiving all that you need. And knowing that 
letting go of whatever surfaced during this meditation will bring you into alignment. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Open your mouth and let it go. And drop your awareness down to your fingertips and toes. Noticing any sensations in the body there. And as you begin to bring a gentle movement to your fingertips and toes, do it with a little bit more ease. Noticing any sensations that come up with that movement. Draw that slow movement up to your wrists and ankles. Rolling them out slowly. And bring that movement up to your shoulders. Whichever way feels good for you right now. And to end our practice with gratitude, bring your hands onto your lap, palms facing up. And on your next inhale, stretch your arms out to the sides. Rise your hands up overhead, stretching through fingertips and stretching through spine. Coming to high prayer. And just take a moment here of gratitude for yourself. gratitude for this meditation and gratitude for the energy of the full moon allowing you to let go and receive and on your next exhale draw your hands down your midline and down into your heart center watering those seeds of gratitude Take a deep inhale in through the nose. Exhale out through the nose. And slowly open your eyes, taking in the space and the light around you. that you enjoyed this meditation that has allowed you to see what no longer serves you, what you can let go of, and where you can begin to ground down that beautiful, beautiful goal of yours that you set during the new moon. And I just want to leave you with these few tidbits before I give you the surprise on this video. So during this time of the full moon, especially in Virgo, a lot of those things that used to make you feel lonely or sad or depressed, 
may come to the surface right now and it's good because it wants to come to the surface so that you can finally make sense of it so you can let it go move past it so when you find that those things come up again don't resist them instead allow them to come in practice as we do in our meditations to observe and see what no longer serves you what um, habits or mentalities you can let go of since it's the full moon and also to, if you ever feel this overwhelm, this perfectionism, these past lonely, sad, depressive feelings, take time out for yourself. You know, go for a walk outside, maybe come back to this meditation or any other meditation and just maybe take a bath, go to the ocean. Um, ground yourself down in the here and now so that you have time to relax and to connect back with yourself. Okay, so take those few tidbits and I have a surprise for you guys. I'm going to be doing a giveaway um, with one of my friends and collaborating with her to give away a Lunar Mist. So I have the OG version which is called Aura Mist, but it's this right here and it has witch hazel, dalmatian sage, palo santo, rose, lemon, cedar wood. There's clear quartz in here that has been charged by the full moon from March of last year. So this is like OG version right here, but there's crystals in there and you can see the sage in there. Um, and this is just a really good spray for cleansing the space that is around you, especially if you can't use like Palo Santo or sage in your house or apartment or dorm room. Um, this is a great way to use it. And Kendra, who is the owner of Dark Matter Skincare, as it is called now, um, created these for you guys. And she actually uses them as a perfume. It smells really good, like cedarwood and sage. It's very cleansing. Um, so I wanted to give these for you guys so you can add it to your new moon or full moon ritual. But to be put in the giveaway, I'm going to put all the links down below. Make sure that you go like Dark Matter Skincare on Instagram, like our page Raising Wellness on Instagram, subscribe to this channel, and write a comment down below that you did all those things so that I can add you into the giveaway and we'll pull a name for the next video that I post on this channel to let you guys know who it was and I will contact whoever the winner is through Instagram. So make sure that you do those things. Like Dark Matter Skincare, the link will be down below. Like Raising Wellness Instagram, that is down below as always. And make sure you follow this channel, subscribe to this channel so that you can be put in the giveaway for the Lunar Mist. And this stuff is really great. I use it during all my meditations, the ones that I do for myself and the ones that I teach locally. So. I hope whoever you are watching this, I hope you win it. Um, there'll be one winner, but I'm sure that I will do more in the future because I work closely with Kendra and Dark Matter Skincare, which I'll probably talk on this channel about in later videos. But I hope you guys enjoyed the meditation. I hope it really opened you up and allowed you to see what no longer serves you and what you can let go of. And I'm sending you so much love. So much gratitude wherever you are in the world, and I will see you in the next video to announce the winner for our Lunar Mist. Mwah.